Hey, this is Levi Lesko, and the verse of the day is John 6, 35. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. This is the first of seven times in John's gospel that Jesus will say, I am, using that title of God that God revealed himself to Moses with, and he will say something about who he is, the gate, the way, the resurrection, the true vine, the shepherd. And here, the, for the very first time, he says, I am the bread of life. Now, of course, it's interesting that this takes place in connection to him feeding the 5,000, uh, the largest in scale or scope of Jesus' miracles up until this point, and the only of the miracles that is included in all four of the gospel accounts, except, of course, the resurrection. But Jesus says, I am the bread. What is Jesus like? He's, he's bread. He's, he's that basic building block of life. I know in our culture, everyone's trying to avoid bread, but in that day, it was, it was a staple. It was rice and beans. I mean, it was, it was the building block of, of the diet. So he was saying, I am that which can keep life going. Without eating, you die. Without Jesus, he's saying, without me, you perish. I am the difference between life and death. And I love that Jesus' bread is still good tomorrow. When Moses was used to bring manna to the people, the next day, if you tried to eat it, it was wormy. But Jesus, after the miracle of the 5,000, said, gather up the fragments so that nothing is lost. He's saying, I'm better than Moses. You think he hung the moon, which, by the way, the first thing I've written on the moon was bread. But Jesus is saying, you think Moses hung the moon. You think religion's the way to connect to God. But he's saying, that won't taste good tomorrow. feels good on Sunday to say that, but then Monday, Tuesday, that doesn't live out very well when it's all on you. But when you're coming to Jesus for your righteousness, when you're coming to Jesus for your peace, that still tastes good every day of the week. So today, look to Jesus for your bread.